Hello, faithful viewers. This is Devin Francis, also known as Leonard Meltzner. And this is Victoria. And you are watching the 39th episode and the one year anniversary of the Adventures in Odyssey Oddcast. Yay! Oh, yay! Party blower sound effects. I zoned effects. out there for a second. I should have yay. bought confetti, come to think of it. But, but then you get it in our cake. That's a little late for that now. For yes. It is our one year anniversary. It is very exciting. Don't get the cake on the camera. We are very excited. Look at that. Careful. Don't Woo! tilt it like that. Can we eat the cake now? Thank you, everybody, for sticking with us. Cut the cake. For such a long time. Cut it's been a great time that Victoria and I have had. Thank you. Over the last 365 days, 363 technically, because we're recording this two days before, so we can upload it right on the birthday. Happy birthday But to I'm us. sure we will also be encouraged by your support over the next two days as well. That means I have two birthdays in July now. Yes. It has been a great time that we've had doing this podcast and enjoying all of your support. This piece is for you. Actually, this piece we've is for me and this time piece with is what? for you. We're at 50 likes on Facebook. We have 56 subscribers on YouTube and about 3,600 views right now, I think. We've had such a wonderful experience with the podcasting community getting to do this. And thank you all so much for being a huge part of that. So... I feel like I should be looking at the camera, but I can't stop looking at the cake. Uh, cake, cake, cake. Cake. Ah, oh, you jerk. You jerk. Yep. You jerk. That is how the cake crumbles, Victoria. You are... Okay, you're giving me a smaller piece. Okay, thank you. Also because the knife went crooked. Oh. So, I thought you were just respecting my not huge love of cake. As Victoria and I begin to eat our ice cream cake. Don't do... okay. We will turn you over to a different Devin and Victoria in a different time where they are going to do predictions finally for album 58, The Ties That Bind. Um. Hello, we are Devin and Victoria of another time and place. Actually, it's the same place. Yes, but a very different time. And we're here to talk to you about what, Victoria? Let's get together a Comic-Con festival. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're talking about album 58, The Ties That Bind, and what our predictions are based on what we've been told so far about the album. The first thing official we heard about the album was what, Victoria? Uh, the official description. Or yes. are you talking about the album artwork? No, no, I mean the official description. Okay, the official description. And what did it say? What did it say? Comic Connellsville, the Let's Get Together Festival. I'm going to sneeze. You read it. Okay. Who knew that two events could trigger so much drama in Odyssey? Wooten's announcement about a family of detectives leads to suspicion and intrigue, which challenge of some popular ideas causes a difficult tug-of-war between conviction and compromise. And the surprise arrival of a few friends and former adversaries creates the perfect blend of excitement, comedy, and important life lessons for everyone. Okay. The Ties That Bind contains 14 all-new episodes exploring questions about God's design for marriage, family, loyalty, redemption, commitment, and love. It's a collection for your whole family to enjoy and talk about. Yes. So, right off the bat, when we first heard this description, there were a couple things that stuck out to us. Uh, the first thing is the thing that didn't stick out to me was the the pun with Comic Connellsville and Comic Con. I just did not pick up on that for some reason. Until I brought it up. You'd think I would have picked up on that, but... No. You just went to a convention. How sad is that? I know. And the, uh, the Let's Get Together Festival, which is another yeah, significant yeah, yeah. thing. First prediction, uh, with Comic Connellsville, since we're having a Comic Con in the greater Odyssey, Camel County area, is that hopefully Riley will return, because we know he's a big fan of manga, so he would obviously I'm really be hoping it's going to be like, because you have to go to um, conventions early, so you get a good spot in line, you can get in faster. So you have to get up really early when you go to conventions. I know this pretty well. Devin probably knows this. Um, and 
What? Remember, you made me go all those hours early and it was completely unnecessary. Whatever. You got a good spot in line, <laughs> didn't you? Anyway, so I'm hoping that he's like, Jay, uh, it has Elvis stuff. And Jay's like, yes, I'll come. So, like, Jay's all tired and stuff, and then it turns out it doesn't. And Riley's like, I just wanted someone to come with me and stuff. But anyway, the point is I want more Riley and Jay episodes. I pictured them as Tori and Rin when you described them like that. That's one letter off. From so, so uh, <laughs> let's get together festival. Obviously, is the first hint towards the thing which is basically absolutely confirmed for this album now, and uh, which I picked up on even in this first official description. Which challenge of some popular ideas, a difficult tug of war between conviction and compromise? Immediately, I heard that and thought. Are they going to tackle gay marriage on Odyssey? That would certainly be interesting and very timely. I know that Phil Waller, I believe it was, said that back in the early 90s, they almost did an episode on such, but they uh, never ended up doing it. And I personally think that was probably a good idea, because doing one back then, I don't think it would have handled things as well as there's opportunity to now, especially because of the way that uh, things have changed so much in that span of time. The I it's and it's basically confirmed by people that uh, yes that's where it's going and you can see it throughout all the descriptions. It also says God's design for marriage and family and the let's get together. Obviously, is, is probably a, a gay pride event. So yeah, it is. I, I don't think there's going to be an in between with how they handle this. It's either going to be the best thing or the worst thing that Adventures and Odyssey has ever done. And I am very excited about how it could potentially turn out, but I'm also dreadfully nervous about how it could turn out. But either um, way, it will probably not be any worse than Stepping Stones. That's the important <laughs> thing to remember no. here. I can't even joke about how nervous I am about how this could turn out. I am really, really, really hoping that Paul McCusker is going to write this episode or someone else who's you know has a really good history at writing episodes. Hacks where they handle difficult subjects very well and look at very balanced viewpoints on the things. So I'm really hopeful in that regard because Odyssey has a really good history with that, but I'm also really nervous because I know that uh, focus overall is a bit noted for being a lot more on the conservatives, whether it's not actually like gay bashing per se, I don't know. It, It'll be interesting. We're not going to get into our own views on the subject yet. That may come up in a subsequent review as a result of the topics, but I guess we're going to see where that goes. For the moment, we'll just talk about our predictions for these. So, uh, yeah, it'll it's going to be an interesting album. And 14 episodes instead of 12, which is because... Um, apparently, uh, it's such a... Big, oh wait. Well, you want me to also read because, this? I mean, there's kind of two reasons, I guess. Do you want me to read the description? Well, I was going to say one reason, I imagine. So they talk about it in the description. I know, I know. Say. I guess that's another reason. But one reason is that the Odyssey Adventure Club, of course, has made, taken up one of the two seasons for this year, and not everyone has access to that. So having 14 episodes instead of 12, which is the first time this happened since Gold Audio Series Album 7 on Thin Ice, which also had 14 episodes. It uh, allows fans who aren't members of the OEC to have access to a couple more episodes. And what if a... they keep on doing 14 episodes? That would be weird. I don't yeah, know if I can I handle that. I mean, not that I can complain about more episodes. Yeah, but, I know, you know, but it'd just be... It would just throw my brain off. Yeah, it'd be an interesting change. There's another reason they chose 14, and we'll get to that when we get on to the notes from AI Wiki about the album. But the next piece of information we received was a snippet in Clubhouse magazine about it, which was also released later in an OAC newsletter to its uh, premium charter members. And I first received this clip from Clubhouse, courtesy of Brennan McFarland of the Wits End podcast. Thank you, by the way. Do you want to read it? Sure. If you're new to the Odyssey Adventure Club, welcome to the neighborhood. You've picked a great time to make your move. That's because, beginning in July, club members will get to hear two brand new episodes every week from the upcoming Odyssey collection, The Ties That Bind. There's family drama for Wooten and Connie, and a potentially life-changing comic convention, plus a battle for the very heart of Odyssey. The sweeping 14-part adventure, adventure features the town's most colorful characters while bringing back fan favorites. 
Best of all, you'll be able to enjoy this album months before it airs on the radio or arrives in stores. Be sure to find out more at oacclub.org, because the great adventure awaits. I thought that was a pretty good read. Yes. Yeah. So, um... There are a couple things to point out in there. We should clarify, we are not going to be listening to any episodes of the of Album 58 until they air publicly on the radio September 6th. We are not listening to the one, the first episode which came out on the official podcast, and we're not listening to the ones that came out on advance on the OAC. We're waiting just like everybody else is, and if you share any spoilers with us on the Facebook page or in the comments of the YouTube I will skin you alive. No spoilers, please. I wish I could say he was kidding, but he's very serious when it comes to Odyssey. There, and spoilers all over. Yeah. There are a couple other things to glean from this, like, uh... Family drama for Wooten and Connie might mean Wellington and Talia and Brad, Brad, Bradford, Brad... Oh yeah, Brad, I forgot about Bradford. Bradford... Yeah. Bradford, yes. and Wooten's dad, whose name is... Uh, Winston. Winston. I am really hopeful that this might include Wooten's mother, because not only has she never appeared on the show, she's never even been mentioned. Not even by name, not even just by Wooten saying my mother, or Winston saying my wife, or anything at all. There's been... What? Oh, I thought you said Wellington for a second, <laughs> and you're like, ah. No, there's been no mention of her whatsoever before, so I really hope that she'll finally make or an Winston's appearance. Winston's wife. Or Wellington's... What? I'm so True. confused. Yeah. Too many W's. Too many. And family drama for Connie, which means that Jules could be returning and Bill could be returning, all sorts of cool stuff. That means we still have the opportunity for Bill to become a Christian. Yes. And we will have to forgive him for the things that he has done. As difficult as it will be. Actually, I, I can't really remember lots of the things. I, I've only listened to Life Expectancy once. It's really? been too hard for me to listen to it a second time. I tried to listen to it a second time, but I was basically sleeping slash doing homework and not paying attention, so I never really heard anything. Okay, uh, potentially life-changing comic convention, so apparently there's going to be a lot of drama around that, and a battle for the very heart of Odyssey. <gasps> Which makes sense, because, I mean, the episode names for this album forgot to say are what victoria name all 14 episodes what's it called okay the ties that bind part one to the ties that bind part 14 i'll let you guess the titles in between yes if you guess so, them uh, wrong you have to leave obviously this is the longest multi-part episode ever because it even beats the green ring conspiracy because there's two extra episodes in the album and it means that uh this is probably going to be a very epic, grand, sweeping storyline, which is interesting because it seems to be a little bit more slice of life than uh, regular story arcs. Which is why of that it kind ilk. of annoys me that it's going to be. But who like, knows? Not... Maybe it. Yeah, I know, but if it sounds like it sounds really slice of life, with at least Green Ring Conspiracy, you could tell that it was like going they had to conspiracy be one in the giant name. saga. Plus, they had like a big villain backing it up. But, like, this doesn't, so. Well, if there's a battle for the very heart of Odyssey, I'm guessing there is going to be another villain involved here. Plot twist, Blackard's gay. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> that... That would actually make sense with given what we... <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's not what I was expecting you to say. What did you think it was going to say? Blackard's back or something. Oh, No. Well, I kind of did imply okay. that he's back. And bringing back fan favorites. Um, fan favorites. Fan favorites. Scooby Doo Doo. Well, they mentioned they're gonna bring back Dale and Jason. Yes, but Dale Jason's and... already back. So. Yeah, and I'm ex I'm happy about hopefully Dale. it means Buck and maybe Mr. Skinner gonna be back. Who I else hope Buck is gonna be back. Is gonna be coming back. The notes on AIA Wiki about the album. I want Katrina and Eugene to adopt Buck. Planning for this album started in February 2013. This obviously has been changed because it'll start on the OAC in July, and the first episode's already out. The confirmed writers for this album are Bob Hoos, Nathan Hubler, Marshall Younger, and Kathy Buchanan. Jason Whitaker will appear in at least one episode in this album. The winners of the Summer 2013 Axe Contest will appear in a bonus feature for this album. Which is a call to serve Axe. The album will have some of its episodes based on concepts from the family focuses 
Family. Ego. Focus on the families. The family project, which is uh, pretty obviously the uh, the homosexuality stuff. Some episodes for this album were recorded in January 2014. The remainder were recorded in April. Uh, gu Gunner, gu Gunner. Yeah. Gunner Size Moore will be replacing Zach Callison as the actor for Matthew Parker. We will miss you, Zach. Yes, you served us well. I'm not just saying that I, I say everything flatly. I actually mean that <laughs> I will miss you. Um, this album will have 14 episodes instead of the usual 12. The decision to make it from a 12-parter to a 14-parter happened when they read through the scripts for episodes 7 to 12, and they felt that the story needed more time to reach its conclusion. This really excites me, the thought, because if they looked at a span of a story spread over six episodes and they still said it was too rushed and it needed more time. Like, wow, hopefully that's got to be just, something crazy going hopefully on. Hopefully they're not just, like, uh, making it longer and it doesn't need to be. Yeah, but, I mean, hopefully what that says to me theoretically is, like, this is a pretty crazy Holy story if they cow. couldn't even fit the conclusion into a six-parter. Holy cows. Yes. And uh, Dale Jacobs, played by Phil Lawler, will appear in the album. There will be a few episodes with parental guidance recommended. Not for violence, unfortunately, but for thematic issues. And I think we all know what that is concerning. So, um, if you go to down in the doo doo you can see the link for the album art. It is right there on AIO Wiki. You can look at it in super high def. See the, uh, the Parkers and Wit going at it. In a tug of war in front of Wit's End, not a whole lot that you can glean plot wise, I there, think. From but there's there. like hands. Are they like yes. Veggie Tales hands where they're not attached attached to a body? Well, that or would like not be a very... first person shooter or something like that. Or are they Wooten's hands? The listeners, or are, they the listeners, listeners are on the other hands. side. Yeah, yeah, first person. It's like first they're, person they're reaching out to the audience. Well, if they are disembodied Veggie Tale hands, I don't think that would be very conducive to tug of war. You obviously haven't seen vegetables play tug of war. That is truth. Um, Connie's eyes are like bulging out and Eugene's eyes are sinking in. If you like combine eyes. their eye ratios, it would make for normal eyes. Also, um, Matthew's cheeks are like puffing out and his face is turning red. My theory is because his Pikachu form is evolving into a higher form, which is his new voice actor. Not that I think his new voice actor will be better. Also, I'm just saying, yeah. Also, Wit is the anchor on this tug of war on his team, and I think he would have been a lot better off if he decided to stick with his second regeneration's body, being the tug of war anchor. Because he's, he's lost like 50 pounds. That it's not going to help him. That is mean, Devin. It's not going to help him. That is just mean. Regeneration, it's a lottery. You, you are a mean person. So we have. But what about Beaver Wit? I bet Beaver Wit would make a good anchor. True. <laughs> or Flat Tom. He could. <laughs> flat <laughs> or Tom. Or the desk. I think the desk would make the best anchor. So we have 14 episodes to look forward to. They will be coming out in about a little over a month and a half now, September 6th is when they will begin, so you can look forward to that. Until then, we will turn you back over to other Devon and Victoria as they enjoy some more cake. Hello. Hi. Welcome back. I don't know about you guys, but I am really excited and nervous and all sorts of emotions concerning album 58. The one I'm thing, really full of cake. The one thing for certain concerning it is that it is going to be a very big deal either way. Don't it is talk going to be with your mouth full. Quite, it wasn't full. Quite the spectacle. So, as we continue our celebrations here of our first anniversary on this podcast, we are going to do our first giveaway. Yay! That's not a, a terribly huge contest and kind of thrown together last minute, but I thought it would be a nice touch to the episode. And it's a... Uh, pretty in the moment. So, the first two people to comment 318.99 from No Way In No Way Out in the comments here on YouTube or on Facebook, the first two people to do that, will each win one month subscription to the Odyssey Adventure Club. So go do it fast, fast, fast. 
and I will check the timestamps and contact you on the appropriate, excuse me, medium. So hopefully you've done that right now, unless you see there's at least two already, in which case there's not really a point to doing that. But thank you anyways. You can leave a comment anyways if you want. I will not complain. We have had such an amazing time doing this podcast over the last year, especially while I was away at school. It was kind of hard at first trying to adjust and having to send files through Dropbox and stuff back and forth, but even between here and there, other than that, we've also got to film at a whole lot of really cool places. Here. Look down, look up. We're on a beach. Once again, we are not in Castlegar. This time we are in Vancouver. Lovely fountain there. I am on the roof of my house right here. This is Devin and not Victoria because this is the secret, secret episode. Um, you are at the top of Camp Hope looking over the Fraser Valley in British Columbia, Canada. Because mine flips off and becomes a sword. I am at Fan Expo Vancouver right now. Very exciting here. And you're watching The Adventures in Odyssey podcast. Yeah. Basically, it's Victoria, stop it. It's been a great time and cool to get to, to do all sorts of different things with this podcast and some of the side effects that have come along with it. Victoria, stop it. A couple weeks ago, or I guess what, just a little over a week ago, a week ago today actually, uh, the African Children's Choir came to Castlegar here and performed at our church. I was the promotional director for the concert here, and so we billeted two boys along with the choir leader in our house here, and all of the kids in the choir came from Uganda, and so immediately I thought, hey, the launch parts one and two, the first two episodes of the Odyssey Adventure Club, took place in Uganda, and while, you know, I shouldn't exactly bring up the Karamojan War with them, because there could be some uh, triggering emotional experiences and trauma related there, in the bonus information on the OEC site, there was a recipe for chapati, which is a very basic tortilla-like dish, and it's the, the staple food piece of Uganda. And so I asked Nate, the choir leader, the night before, if I should try making it a little in the morning, since we are making pancakes and there'd be frying pan going in already. And he was like, sure, that's a great idea. And so I, I did as a surprise the next morning. I was making it, had the OEC site open, doing it, and you'll see what and, will happen. Yeah. The boys, they saw it. They knew that it was Chapati. They recognized it. I gave, put him in their lunches, but I got one of them to take a bite, and he said that it actually did taste like Chapati. So that was super exciting. And you can exciting. see my yeah. shining, utter confidence I have in Devin. Nobody believed I could do it, but I did it. So we filmed it. Most of it is filmed vertically, and part of that is my fault. I'm sorry. Um, but there you go. Hello, everybody. This is Devin. I'm Victoria. Victoria. Hi. With the Adventures in Odyssey podcast. So, we had some people from the African Children's Choir stay here last night, and they are from Uganda, which, as you all remember, is the location of the launch, parts one and two, the first two episodes of the Odyssey Adventure Club. And as we learned on the site, one of the staple diets, staple things in the diet there, is chapati, which is a tortilla like bread. And the recipe was on the site. And so, we are going to try, I'm going to try and make some chapati for them, and we're going to see how it turns out. This will either turn out really bad or okay. Real good. Let's see. The turnaround button. In the so, right you have flour all over your shirt. Yeah. Well, not all over my shirt. All over your shirt. Oh, there's better dough and, now. And this is what the dough looks like so You can far. see on here, we have the OAC site open to the launch it, part it one. It doesn't want to, oh, okay, there. Um, okay, so, uh, divide it into four equal parts. That's two. And three. That's three. We'll find out how well he does. <laughs> so this is yeah. Devin's pancake thing. The jig is up. These are the other. Oh, Honor, like yeah, so. Yeah, so I should Devin. try making it. That way. So. It turned out pretty and well. then it probably needs more oil on the brittle. What did it say on your thing, Devin? You can Zoom out. 
Yeah. We, oh, well, this is the problem right here. With your parents' help, place white so, chapati on the skillet. Uh, so Devin didn't get oil? his parents' help. When it help. begins to change. No, if anything turns out bad, this isn't because of the OIC. OIC. On, on the this is still? because Devin no, cannot no, cook. What, what is that? Hey, at least he saw it and he knew it was chapati immediately, so that's a plus. Yeah. Oh, and now it's. Okay, you hey, should yeah. roll up the, the other ones. The edges are flipping up. Okay. <clears throat> you should roll out the other ones. So now you're getting there. I wonder if Devin can actually do this. We'll see soon. <laughs> The I'm rolling the other one. Okay, you're yeah. more before you that. Here, look at this finished one though. Look how good it turned up. Maybe that's what they're supposed to look like. Yeah, and one of the kids came in and he saw it and he said, Hey, that's Chapati. I Immediately. think I might have got that so, on camera. Yeah, so, so it's recognizable. And Devin's not embarrassed. There you go. Good job. Hey, High five. Successful. I totally didn't believe in you, but you did it. Thank anyway. you, Victoria. All right, back to the regular show. <laughs> mm. Ah, yeah, that was really cool. And that chapati was amazing. My goodness, it tasted very, very good. I, I hate to admit nice things to Devin, but it actually tasted really good. And Victoria ate it after it all dried out and stuff too. I, I, I so. actually, I think it tasted better than. Anyways, so, uh, of one more little clip montage, well, two, I guess, to go through here and take a look at basically all of the things that we've done on this podcast, because from the beginning, as some of you may remember from the first episode, the reason that I didn't want to make an AIO podcast for so long is that there's so many out there, and they all feel like they're doing the same sort of thing. And so our goal in this podcast, and in the very name of the oddcast itself, was for it to be odd, out of the ordinary, for it to be different, and for us to do different types of things. And that's why we wanted to create so many different types of episodes, not just give you the latest news and review episodes and other, you know, normal kinds of things like that. We wanted to break out of the box and do different sorts of things, and so that's what we were doing with these. So, the oddcast is over. I wonder what will happen next. Victoria, would you like to explain what the Beginner's Guide to Odyssey is? We are talking about the popular discussion topic, is Odyssey a kid show or not? It is our interview with Austin and Tasha. <laughs> We're reviewing two episodes. Because I'm living in Vancouver now, I am going to try and find Box 9800 V6B4G3. This episode is a lore episode. And what we're doing is looking at events that happened in Odyssey, very pivotal events, and seeing what could have happened in Schrodinger's universe if they had gone the other way. I guess this is headcanon number two. And here we go, the night travelers. What will happen? Sparkle. As you can see, our cake is uh, starting to bald on the top. Looks like it's going into its mid-40s. So as we wrap up this episode, um, first off, our review episodes for July and August. Of course, they're going to have the OAC episodes, but for the other two, we don't know what we're going to do yet. And so Victoria suggested what? That we let the viewers vote. Yes. Very enthusiastic, Victoria. What? We are opening up the voting on these episodes to you guys. So please comment down below or on where this episode is posted on the Facebook page. Let us know what episodes you want us to review. There's two episode spots here available, so you can suggest one or two part episodes, not three part episodes. So suggest those below, we'll pick our favorites, and then you guys can vote on them or something like that. We'll figure it out, but just so you know, that's what we're gonna be doing for that. And so as we wrap up this celebratory episode, thank you to Victoria for having the initial idea for this podcast. Like 10 years ago. Uh, our parents for putting up with us. Yes. We did this and let us Man. film in there. To Austin and Tasha. 
for giving us our starting foot in the door with the Odyssey podcasting world and for being our first interviewees. Uh, to Arya Curzon and Garrett Vandenberg for also letting us interview them. Thank you to me. That's what I thought Victoria was wow. going to say. Because we were reciprocating thanks for I... doing like 75% of Thank you, of... Devin. Thank you to me for doing 90% of the grunt work on this podcast. I do work. That's true. I, I work hard. Us. Even though some people might not believe it. And thank you to all of you for watching us all the time and putting up with us through that our ridiculously creepy. long episodes. Yes, watching us all the time. That sounds really creepy. All the time. And, of course, above all, thanks to God for getting us through all of these difficult and trying times and getting us all the way here through to the end of our first year with this podcast. And so, what are we doing next time, Victoria? So, thank you to Focus on the Oh, family. yeah, Focus, too, for making Adventures in Odyssey. That's a big thing that they did. Yeah. Yeah. That's a thing. It's a, it's a small part of this production that we do here. Yeah. What are we doing next time, Victoria? I'm not sure. Neither am I. We're going to be reviewing Like a Good Neighbor and uh, Audience Chosen Episode, and I don't really know what that's going to be yet. And so... My cake melted. Well, eat it. I'm full. Until that next time, thank you for joining us on our side of the YouTube. I have been Devin Francis. And I have been Victoria. I'm still Victoria. This has been Animal, and that's been Devon. And I've been a lover of this episode. And we already said this. And I'm chewing gum. And help yourself to some cake. And this has been the Adventures in Odyssey podcast. podcast. Say it at the same time. Hug. Psych. Yay. No, I'm kidding.